Welcome Holy Spirit, we are in your presence, fill us with your power, live inside of me, you're the living water, never drying fountain. Comfort and and counselor, take complete control. Welcome Holy Spirit, we are in your presence. Fill us with your power, live inside of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we praise you. Jesus, we love you. Holy Spirit, God, we adore you. Holy Spirit, God, we adore you. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning, dear friends in Jesus Christ. So God has given in one more day. And this day is made for you and for me. In this Holy Mass, we pray specially for the repentance. That's what uh, today's Gospel, Jesus, when he comes to the public ministry, that he called the people, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe. Yesterday in gospel we saw that one, John the Baptist, he was proclaiming the same word that the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe. The getting inside of the kingdom of God, the two features is very, very important, that uh, repentance and belief. Repentance of heart. Metanoia, they say, that one, removing the past and giving, coming the present. The change in oneself. So, again, the continuation of gospel today speaks, uh, those who repent and believed, they experienced the mighty hands of God. That is, they experienced the miracles. The people believed Jesus, accepted Jesus. They saw the miracle that the healing touch of Jesus. Therefore, friends, the repentance makes us to go closer to God. The repentance makes us to, to light shine on us. The repentance makes us to go with God and to approach God. God will come near to us. Therefore, today we ask this uh, grace that uh, God will give us the strength and power through the repentance heart uh, so that uh, we may walk in His uh, light uh, and we may walk in His feet. Therefore, my friends, uh, today we call, ask God's pardon and mercy that uh, he, will, he is ready to help us. Therefore, today, ask God's pardon and mercy to worthily celebrate in these uh, mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to and my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do. do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, fault, through my, through my most, most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and to bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose eternal word adorns the face of the heavens, 
yet accepted from the virgin mary the frailty of your flesh grant we pray that he who appeared among us as the splendor of truth may go forth in the fullness of power for the redemption of the world who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen first reading the reading from the first letter of st john chapter 1 chapter 3 verses from 22 to chapter 4 6 first letter of st john chapter 3 verses 22 to chapter 4 6 my dear people we receive from god whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him and this is his commandment that we should believe in in the name of his son jesus christ and love one another just as he has commanded us all who obey his commandments abide in him and he abides in them and by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us beloved do not believe every spirit but test the spirits to see whether they are from god for many false prophets have gone out into the world by this you know the spirit of god every spirit that confesses that jesus christ has come in the flesh is from god and every spirit that does not confess jesus is not from god and this is the spirit of the antichrist for which you have heard that it is coming and now it is already in the world little children you are from god and have conquered them for the son who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world they are from the world therefore what they say is from the world and the world listens to them we are from god whoever knows god listens to us and whoever is not from god does not listen to us from this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error the word of the lord Thanks be to God. Sam, your response shall be, I will give all the nations for your heritage. I will give you all the nations for your heritage. I will tell of the decree of the Lord. You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make you the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth you will. and your possession response i will give you all the nations for your heritage now therefore o kings be wise be warned o ruler of the earth serve the lord with fear with trembling kiss his feet your response i will give you all the nations for your heritage gospel acclamation hallelujah hallelujah Jesus preached the good news of the kingdom and healed all who were sick alleluia The Lord be with you 
and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 4 verses 12 to 17 23 to 25 gospel according to saint matthew chapter 4 verses 12 to 17 23 to 25 Now when Jesus heard that John had been arrested he withdrew to Galilee he left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled land of Zebulun land of Naphtali on the road by the sea across the Jordan Galilee and the Je- Galilee of the Gentiles the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light and for those who sat in the region and shadow of death light has dawned from that time Jesus began to proclaim repent the kingdom of heaven has come near Jesus went throughout Galilee teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness among the people so his fame spread throughout all Syria and they brought to him all the sick those with various diseases and pains those possessed by demons those afflicted with epilepsy and paralysis and Jesus cured them and great crowds followed him from galilee the decapolis jerusalem judea and from beyond the jordan the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness is bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be God forever amen Blessed be God Blessed be God Blessed be God forever amen Blessed are you Lord God of all creation thanks to your goodness is wine we offer fruit of the vine Work of our hands, it will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Pray, brethren, that uh, may our sin- sacrifice may be acceptable to the God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. And our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ. as a light for the nations and when he appeared in our mortal nature you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature and so with the angels and archangels with the thrones and the dominions 
and with all the host and the powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth of love your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is you comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the founder of all holiness may holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope thomas bala our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles <coughs> and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be hoagest to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son our lord jesus christ <coughs> through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come thy will, thy will be, be done on, on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil Grace is the grand peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church the graciously grant 
her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you peace be with you peace be with you lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant us peace lord jesus christ son of the living god may the receiving of your body and blood not bring us to judgment and condemnation but through your loving mercy be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy free us from sin and all evil keep us always faithful to your commandments and lord never let us be parted from you behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who are called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say a word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life for me soul of christ sanctify me body of christ save me blood of christ in the bread me water from the side of christ wash me passion of christ strengthen me o god jesus ye are me within your wounds i am me never let me be separated from me from the malignant enemy defend me the hour of my that call me and bid me to come to you that with your saints i may praise you for all eternity amen we are for today's life under his feet of jesus let the lord bless the new day he has given one more day today and in this day it will be the blessed day because jesus will walk in front of us jesus will guide us wherever he, he we go god will protect us therefore ask god that god is with us immanuel is with us I have no fear. I have no afraid. I have no temptation. I have no fear. Therefore God is near to me. Loving Lord, bless our family. Bless our children. Bless each one of us in this house. Therefore we may walk in your presence so that uh, we may carry your light uh, in day to day happenings. Particularly today whatever we do we find your presence in there therefore shower your blessings upon us so that we may the disciple of your yourself therefore loving lord give your grace abundantly to the people those who are there in this media loving lord bless each one of us we have seen his glory the glory of the only son coming from the father 
filled with the grace and the truth let us pray grant we pray almighty god that by the power of these holy mysteries our life may be constantly sustained through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless us all the father son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended go and serve the lord thanks be to god